Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel again. Today, we will discuss another video of TFL Seru session. Hope you all enjoy this video. In this video, you will learn the section 7, Safer Driving. This is a breakdown of these video series. As you know on the slide, today, we are on the section 7. If you still not watched other videos, please go through them. Without talking more, let move on today's session. Please subscribe and press the bell icon, then you will receive a notification once I upload a new video. Section 7. Safer Driving PHV drivers need to keep a careful watch on the roads at all times and be able to interact safely with all other road users, especially those that are more vulnerable, such as pedestrians, cyclists, and motorcyclists. This section tells you about the how to maintain the highest standards of driving. More advice on driving safely is on the TFL website. Please watch the video until the end. Obey the law. As a PHV driver, you are expected to be fully aware of and to obey the rules of the road as explained in the highway code. You should avoid behavior that causes any danger to you, your passengers, and other road users. Most collisions in London are caused by a small number of easy to avoid behaviors. These include speeding or driving too fast for the conditions, making dangerous maneuvers, getting distracted, not following the rules of the road. You need to be aware of your responsibilities as a professional driver and think about the topics in the sections below. Safe speeds, safe maneuvers, concentration, use of alcohol or drugs, prescription medicine, following traffic laws before a journey begins, being aware of other road users, let's discuss them one by one. Safe speeds. Drive at a speed within the speed limit and one that is appropriate for the situation, environment, and weather conditions. The faster you drive, the less time you have to do something to avoid a collision. The resulting injuries also become more serious as speed increases. Safe maneuvers. Think about the maneuvers you make and make sure they are safe. This includes things like looking carefully when pulling out of junctions, turning across traffic, or passing cyclists or motorcyclists. Careless or dangerous driving is a serious offense with heavy penalties. Concentration. You need to focus on the road and be able to react quickly. Don't get distracted by mobile phones and other electronic devices, music, or passengers. If you do need to answer or make a call, you will need to stop safely, park your vehicle, and turn the engine off. Distractions can make you less aware of what is happening on the road and affect your judgment so your decision-making abilities are reduced. Remember, it is also illegal to use a handheld phone or similar device when you are driving, unless you are calling the emergency services in an emergency and it is unsafe or impractical to stop. This includes when you are stopped in a queue of traffic, e.g. at traffic lights, delays, etc. Use of alcohol or drugs. You must never drive while you are under the influence of drugs or alcohol. The police test for drug and alcohol use at the roadside to catch those who break the law. Prescription medicine. If you are taking prescription medicine, you must check with your doctor that it is safe for you to drive. Following traffic laws before a journey begins, you need to know about and follow the laws on the safe use of vehicles. Laws that require you to have insurance a current MOT certificate, a driving license, 
wear a seatbelt and not drive a faulty vehicle. All drivers must make sure that their vehicle is maintained to the required standard. It is important that you are aware of the rules regarding passengers wearing seatbelts in PHVs. All adults must wear a seatbelt and drivers should encourage adult passengers to wear a seatbelt for their own safety. Drivers must also make sure that all children are correctly seated and restrained. Drivers are responsible for making sure that all children under 14 years of age wear seat belts or sit in an approved child car seat. If the correct child car seat is not available, children can travel without one, but only if they travel on a rear seat and wear an adult seat belt if they are three or older without a seat belt if they are under three. The police keep a close watch on London's roads 24 hours a day and will identify drivers who choose to break the law. If you fail to obey any of the above rules, you may get a fixed penalty notice, FPN, or be prosecuted. This can result in a fine and penalty points on your license. It may also result in you being banned from driving. You could also lose your PHV driver's license. Being aware of other road users, TFL expects all professional drivers to be fully aware of other road users, in particular, those people who are the most vulnerable. Pedestrians. Be aware of pedestrians suddenly stepping into the road and give way to pedestrians on side roads. Cyclists. Be aware of cyclists at all times, but especially when you are turning in slow-moving traffic or when you are pulling away from traffic lights. Make sure you give cyclists enough room when you overtake them. Please ask your passengers to check before they open their door into the road to make sure there isn't a cyclist coming. You must do the same. Motorcyclists. Be aware of motorcyclists at all times, but especially when you are turning or in slow-moving traffic. Windscreen vision, in clear sight, Annex 6 of the Highway Code, which deals with vehicle maintenance, says, Windscreens and windows must be kept clean and free from obstructions to vision. That means you should not put or fix anything onto your windscreen that will stop you being able to see the road ahead. This includes mobile phones, sat-navs, and other devices that will reduce your vision. These pictures, based on photographs taken by the City of London Police, show just how much your area of vision is reduced by having devices attached to your windscreen. Be cradle careful. Before starting any journey, you should make sure you have a clear view through the windscreen and windows of your vehicle and that no devices or signage reduce or obstruct your view. If you put a cradled device, such as a mobile phone or sat-nav, on the area on your windscreen that is covered by your windscreen wipers, known as the swept area, you are committing an offence. If you are prosecuted, you may be fined and get penalty points on your driving license. Here is a picture of swept area of a windscreen. Within this area, you are not allowed to put a cradle device. Driving conditions can change quickly and dangers such as pedestrians suddenly stepping in front of you or bikes coming out of side streets mean you need to have a clear view of the road. If your windscreen is covered in devices, you increase your chances of getting distracted or not seeing dangers in time to avoid them. You must make sure that you put any devices in positions that do not reduce how much you can see. Other things to consider. Being tired. Tiredness can have a similar effect on a driver as drinking alcohol and can result in death or serious injury.
Plan your day to include regular breaks from driving and do not begin a journey if you are already tired. Weather conditions. You should change your driving behavior when the weather conditions change so that you are always driving safely. If it suddenly starts to rain heavily or there is thick fog, reduce your speed. Driving at night. You should pay particular attention when driving at night because pedestrians, cyclists and motorcyclists may be more difficult to see then. Cycle safety. PHV drivers spend a lot of time on the roads and are almost twice as likely as private car drivers to be involved in a collision that results in the death or serious injury of a cyclist. Because of this, it is very important that you follow the advice below so you can reduce the risk of a collision and help make sure that everyone travels safely. Top tips. Always check for cyclists, pedestrians, and motorcyclists who may be moving even if most vehicles are stopped in traffic. Look out for cyclists, especially when checking your mirrors before indicating to go left or right or changing your speed or direction. Check over your shoulder for cyclists and other road users before opening your door to make sure it doesn't swing out in front of them. Use your indicators when turning or changing lanes, even if you don't think anyone is near you. Indicate well in advance to allow others to react. Make sure your indicator is off once you have completed your maneuver to avoid confusing cyclists and other road users. Give cyclists room. Keep a safe distance from cyclists and don't try to overtake when there is not enough space. Give as much space as you would for another car. If a cyclist is using the middle of the lane, wait patiently until you can pass safely. This space is for cyclists and you may be fined and get points on your driving license. Leave room for cyclists at traffic lights. Drivers should not enter the advanced stop line box when the light is red. Vehicle safety. As a professional driver, you're responsible for checking your vehicle is safe and legal to drive. Driver's compartment. For example, in the driver's compartment, you should check that the horn works. Other things to check include your seat and seat belt are in good condition, are secure, and you can adjust them as you need. The steering wheel is secure and in good condition. The clutch and brake pedals have anti slip covers. The handbrake is in good working condition. Also, you should check driver warning lights do not light up when the engine is started, the indicators are working correctly. The windscreen washers and wipers are in good condition. Any devices for opening and closing. The driver and front passenger windows work correctly. You can see in all the mirrors. Passenger compartment. This should be clean, and all equipment in it must be in good working order, such as the seat belts fitted to the passenger seats. This also includes upholstery, headlining, carpets and door trims, passenger courtesy lights, wheelchair safety belts, seat belts if applicable, all doors and door locking mechanisms. Also you should consider vehicle heater system, no smoking signs, CCTV signage is displayed in a prominent position. This is only required where CCTV is installed in the vehicle. Wheels and tires. Tires must be the correct size, speed, and weight rating for the make and model of your vehicle.
you should make sure all wheel nuts are in place and secure. Tires must be free from cuts, lumps, bulges, and tears, excessive or uneven tire wear, excessive damage to the wheel rim. Tire wear bar indicators are positioned around the tire. If the tread pattern has worn down to the level of the indicators, then you must replace the tire. Outside the vehicle, make sure there are no signs of fluids, oil, brake fluid, leaking from under the vehicle onto the ground. You should check. All external lights and reflectors are there and secure, undamaged, and working. You should also check. Body panels have not been badly repaired. There is no evidence of serious damage to the external body panels. There is no serious rusting or corrosion resulting in sharp edges. All windows are clean, undamaged, and free from unapproved signage or advertising material. Now we have come to the end of today's session. If you really enjoy the video, please like and share the video with your friends. Your support always encourages me to continue the session. Again, we will meet with a new video. Until then, you have a wonderful day. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Thank for watching.